All right, so this is a kind of low-fi, low-production value, how are things going at the Spooner household thing. Uh, we had a brand new baby, which uh, we'll get to at the end probably. Um, put up some lights. You can see there lights under the eaves all along out here. Powered by one of those little plug-in thingers. And we've got lights over here. Uh, just been kind of catching up on stuff. I'm home from work, helping with the baby, and with the baby sleeping, and mama's sleeping, and I'm doing projects. Uh, here's the gazebo, and got lights up in here. I used to have a, a spotlight. These are all around the edge there, and those are powered over there. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the side yard, anyway. Still got a giant hole here. No progress on that. Um, there's this chair that I made, and uh, it attaches on here with these things. You want some milk? And there's a lantern up there. I'm gonna have to put that on a pulley at some point so we can pull it up and down. Uh, we put these up, sir exterior lights so that we have a little more light out here. Also did a uh, clean up of this piano. Another piano on the wall. I haven't turned this off yet. So I've got the piano mounted on the wall. And it's, uh, it's on these shelf mounts. So the whole thing, whoops. That's another thing I did. The whole thing flips up. And it's on those uh, and then I put away all the cables and things and hooked up a synth to it the cable running over there at the end and uh, so then it plays I also rewired this thing to run off a power supply uh, it used to be battery powered but the the switch broke so I just hot wired it so whenever you plug it in it turns on Daddy. like so Daddy. what's up Barney Daddy. I guess you'll just have to starve to death then. Maybe use a spoon. No. Yes, you can use a spoon. Are you hungry? Then figure it out. Go get a spoon or something. There are dirty spoons you can use. There we go, like that. That's it. Front garden is beautiful. Got lots of plants. I don't know what they all are, but they're all growing like crazy. Corn's coming in. That's nice. Ooh. And so many butterflies and hummingbirds and things, which is really nice. It's nice to have butterflies around. Lavender keeps coming back. We keep cutting it, but you know. and basil and lemon balm and all kinds of things. See you later, Charlotte. Uh, I got a big speaker from Dad. I haven't installed that yet, but we're going to. Um, tool update, I guess. I got this a while ago. Joel Press has been handy. And then I picked up uh, my, my greatest sponsor, got a vice for me. You saw in the video that I didn't have a vice, so here's a vice. Thanks, Dad. And uh, because I have a vice, I've been doing some vice projects. I've started working on uh, decorating this axe head, and I'm going to try to repair the axe handle. I had to drill it out a bit to remove it, but you can see it was all overstrike damaged here. And uh, yeah, anyway, I drilled it out, and that's going to it's gonna be a project sometime. Um, sharpened one of my chisels here. That's nice to have that sharp again. Um, put up a few tool holders. Tool holder for the, the mini mattock here, I showed in a previous video. And I've been clearing stuff out. Put the other door up. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show off the door. So, this is the 
um, exterior door here, and uh, there's nothing special. It used to have that door up there. It's an interior door. I don't know why they put an interior door exterior, but that's how they did it. So now we've got an exterior door and an exterior space, but we didn't have a striker plate. Oh, and the, uh, the deadbolt is just... I don't want to get locked out. Anyway, we didn't have a striker plate, so I made a striker plate. And uh, this is put in with, what is it, seven three-inch nails, or not nails, uh, drywall screws. And there's a stud back here around the framing. And so these, these screws go all the way into the, the framing. And there's one there in the tongue at the base of the, the whatever that is, hasp well, or is it the hasp? I don't know. I don't know what the door terms are. Anyway, I was really pleased with this. And uh, this is only possible because had a vice. So, yeah. Really happy how that that turned out. Way, way ridiculously over-designed, but that's what you get. I mean, as long as you're going to make a striker plate, you may as well make it really over-designed. Um, okay, and then, this is the latest thing I did. Uh, this is an infrared thermometer. This is used to be an infrared thermometer. I took out the laser and the sensor. Um, let's see, where is that? Yeah, here's the laser. And uh, here's the infrared sensor thing. Uh, the kids had dropped it in the water, and so it was just, it was dead. I opened it up and tried to fix it, but it wouldn't work. So finally gave up and turned it into just a dead thermometer. So I took the stickers off, and I painted the back piece black. Uh, it used to look basically like this one. Uh, so I painted this black, and then I added, you can see in the normal one, there's a 9-volt battery in there. So in this one, I replaced the 9-volt battery with a hunk of iron. I like to think of it as a depleted fusion cell, but it's a, yeah, it's a, a big old hunk of steel. And uh, that makes it, it didn't quite fit, so I had to put notches in that correspond to the the grooves. Uh, you might be able to see them, the, uh, the ribs in there. Anyway, so that all fits in there, and then there's another hunk of steel in there. And as a result, uh, it's, it's significantly heavier. Let's see how much heavier it is. Significantly heavier than it used to be. So here's the standard one at... 152.4 grams, and here is the increased weight one at 308. It's almost exactly twice as heavy, and because of that, it feels heftier. So, and then I also replaced the uh, the sensor. I just covered over the sensor window with a little piece of plexiglass, painted the black back of it black, and uh, there we go. That's a pretend laser gun. So yeah, uh, that's basically, I thought there's some other stuff I did, I can't remember all the other stuff I did, but some other things, I'm sure, um, but those are the main things I've been doing recently. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for supporting me.